uh, please continue to uh, uh, enjoy your coffee and dessert. Uh, I just need to say a few words. First of all, I welcome everybody, a lot of old friends here. Uh, I'm John Fu, chairman of the Committee 100. Uh, I won't go into much detail about our organization, but if you have an opportunity to pick up this little book here, they will tell you quite a bit about the Committee of 100. We're very fortunate to have uh, Victor Yuan here today, and then as well as Susan and Kathy. And uh, they're going to talk about something of a great deal of interest uh, to a lot of people here. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to turn it over to Susan. Okay. Can have a, a okay, that's better. Right, sorry, one more time. So I'm Susan Lawrence. I'm uh, head of China programs for the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids and was um, previously a journalist for many years in China and got to know Victor right when he's starting off his business about 15 years ago. Gosh, a um, long time. Uh, and joining me on the panel is uh, Kathy Chun, who's the assistant bureau chief for the Wall Street Journal here in Washington, and was previously uh, with the journal in Beijing for many years, and also knew Victor in the early days. Um, Victor uh, has undergraduate and MA degrees in law, actually, um, and started off his career working for the Ministry of Justice in China, and then made a bit of a career switch after June 4th, um, and ended up um, starting China's first independent polling firm. Um, it's been an extraordinary, I mean, the development of his firm has been quite extraordinary. I remember visiting him in the early days in his office in a back alley in Beijing with um, a tiny staff um, just getting going. And I visited his office again in Beijing in January. And it is in this stunning high rise um, just off the third ring road, I guess. Um, but it was an office that would put most corporate offices in America completely to shame. Um, I mean, it, it's, he's, he's built an extraordinary, um, it's, well, it's extraordinary company, an extraordinary kind of empire, um, and has expanded out in terms of what the company does um, far beyond the original roots. Um, public opinion polling in China has a very special place um, that I think it probably doesn't have in, in I really can't think of any other country, um, but partly because China doesn't have a representative democracy. You don't have people going to the polls to express their opinions on things. Um, you don't have people um, booting out leaders or expressing their opposition to foreign policy follies, uh, as we do here in the US. Um, but it also doesn't have a free media. You don't have people free to mouth off in the open media about things that are bothering them. Again, um, ways in which they might be upset about um, services the government's providing or decisions the government has taken. And so it really has fallen to public opinion polling to sort of fill that gap, to provide the government with the feedback that it needs on what the population thinks about a whole range of issues, including what they think about how effective their government is being, uh, both in delivering services to them and in representing China um, in, in foreign policy with the world. Um, and Victor's company started off as an independent company, but um, I mean, still an independent company, but started off, I think, with the government perhaps being a little skeptical, a little worried about what his company would get up to. Um, these days, he is actually representing all sorts of local governments across China um, and helping them to do polling, which um, polling of the popularity of local district chiefs, of um, heads of local bureaus, um, giving the government feedback that it, it now realizes that it really badly needs. Um, I think you said you were working with 16 city governments across China um, and um, also doing policy support, offering policy advice to um, city governments. 31 city governments across China, I think, was the number there. Um, Victor polls on everything under the sun, every subject. I think the only subjects that are off the, t off, off, off the table um, are uh, polls about the popularity of China's very top leaders, uh, Falun Gong and Tibet, um, and everything else uh, is pollable, including Taiwan. So um, I will let uh, Victor um, fill us in on all the details, but I hope that somewhere in the presentation he'll have a chance to tell us a bit about some of the policy advice that he's been giving. Um, he told us the other day at breakfast a wonderful story about his work with housewives, um, with stay-at-home stay uh, women um, in very rich households. Um, and how the government can better reach out to them. So I will let Victor um, 
do his presentation. He's going to take about 20, 20 to 30 minutes to do his presentation, and then we'll open the floor up to comments and questions. Thank you.